Um, let's, I'll answer that question in just a second. So this one says determine what the quadrant is, right? So if you guys remember, we're going to start here at zero, and this one has, has in our negative direction, correct? So therefore, again, we're going to go down in this direction, in the negative direction. Well, remember, you start at zero degrees, you go all the way around, would be pi, okay? And then if you go in all the way around to 360, that would be 2 pi. So therefore, it says, what is negative pi over 12? Well, we're not dealing with radians this time, right? We know that our first radian, as I guys showed you, is roughly you know somewhere like there, right? That's a radian. But we have our radian is in terms of pi, okay? So what we need to do is we need to uh, represent everything in our terms of pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, since I'm using pi over 12, I'm going to put this in terms of my over 12. So I'm going to represent pi as 12 pi over 12. And 2 pi over 12 can be represented as 25, 24 uh, pi over 12. You guys see what I did? I manipulated it. I just changed it. And the reason why I changed it is just so they can represent, because that's what my question is asking in terms of the, in terms of twelfths. So I want to change my circle in terms of twelfths. So yes, exactly. Um, if I wanted to break this up, I could break these into um, twelve sections. So from here to here, I could break this up into twelve equal sections, right? But um, So let's count it. 1 twelfth, 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, 4 twelfths, 5 twelfths, um, 6 twelfths, 7 twelfths, 8 twelfths, 9 twelfths. Uh, oh, this is part of it. Sorry. 1 twelfth, 2 twelfths, 3 twelfths, 4 twelfths, 5 twelfths, 6 twelfths, 7 twelfths, 8 twelfths, 9 twelfths, 10 twelfths, 11 twelfths, 12 twelfths. Okay, I know they're not exactly all equal, guys. I just made them up. But you guys can see how I divided this into 12 different sections. So all of the angles saying, though, is to go how, what degree would 1 12th be in the negative direction? Well, what, what quadrant is that angle in? Four. Four. Okay, so yes, when you're dealing with radians, you can just take the number and calculate how many radians it goes. But when you're dealing with it in terms of pi, you're probably gonna want to write out where pi is, which is, you know, halfway around your circle. And then if you have a fraction, um, write, it as your, uh, write it with the same denominator um, for each one of those. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. 